Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. You know, the other day I was feeling real nostalgic about Glenn Serio. It's been months since he's posted anything on YouTube. I wonder what he's been up to. So why don't we cure that nostalgia by taking a look at one of his greatest hits. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this interesting show. How can I help you? Let me see your license, please. Sorry, what? Can I see your driver's license, please? What do you need that for? Glenn, can I see your driver's license, What's please? that? I'm, I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Okay, can I see your driver's license, What do you need please? that for? Because you were on your cell phone. I wasn't on my cell phone. Sir, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay. Are you not going to give me your license, then? So, I don't know what you're pulling me over for. For using your cell phone, sir. That's not true. Okay, I saw you on your phone. That's not true. Alright. Well, that's why I stopped you. I don't care what you stopped me for. Okay. Are you Gwen? Oh, God. Here we go. Huh? I'm just asking you. Here we go. I think I've talked to you before. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Okay. Well, I want I'm not nothing. looking for any problems. All you right? made... All I'm asking you is for your license. Okay? I don't want to give you my license. I don't want to take it. Okay. Well, hang tight for me. Glenn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mail you a ticket to your 8050 Mupletillo Speedway address, okay? For being on your cell phone. Once you receive the citation, follow the instructions to the right of the citation. You have 15 days to answer the citation, okay? Off. You can either take care of the citation off. or request a hearing I on can, it, all right? I can drive you off. Have a safe day. off. Since Glenn has had his feel feels hurt, he decides to go to the local police department and vent his frustrations on them. Many hours later. Glenn, remember the old saying, people who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. You're the last person to be talking about anybody's weight. Okay, I, I'd ask that you be respectful. The big fat pig that doesn't have a body cam or a dash cam. Okay. Make sense? So do you I would ask you to do your job. Go ahead, go in there. I'll follow you. Go ahead, you first. Alright, sir. So just so you know, you have already audio and video recorded. With what? I don't see any cameras. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so why don't you just walk me through what happened? So I was driving down Makatiya Speedway and a big fat pig got behind me and he he was kind of swerving out of lanes and then he, then he flashed his lights after probably about 60 seconds. Okay. And then I pulled over to the right in front of some kind of bar and then he, uh, he walked over to the passenger side of my vehicle, and as he's doing that, he's drawing his gun. He's literally pulling out of the holster, 
And he's looking, he's telling me he can't hear me. I got the window. So you could see him from yours following the driver's side, walking. My head's off completely of your side, turned. Turned this, like this. Uh, I rotated my head like this. Right. Okay. So, so why is there people you? behind me? I don't know. I don't want to get attacked from behind, so. So you're not going to get attacked, sir. That's okay, what, so yeah, I don't, I don't play games like that. I don't okay. do that. All right. Well, so. You know, you came here to report something. This police department, that door is locked unless you have an access. Well, I don't know why there's a person hiding right here. I can clearly see them. Okay, so I don't see somebody. Well, it's on camera, so. Okay, well, if there's somebody, I can't see them. Okay, well, but may maybe they moved, right? Maybe they heard me say that and they moved their body, right? Okay, Could that happen? No, that's not a possibility, okay, right? So, sir, here, here's the thing. I want to hear you out. And so you said there's an officer approached your vehicle for a traffic stop. A big fat pig named Gonzalez. Okay. Yes, he approached my vehicle. He got on the passenger side of my vehicle okay. and he, he partially drew his pistol. Okay. Now that tells me he wants to shoot me. That tells me he wants to riddle my body with bullets. So, Okay. So, so, is there anything that you wanted to document? I brought a statement for him. He wanted to document anything about your concerns. He wanted to shoot me. He was there to shoot me. So, did, do you have that on video? Yes, I do. Okay, are you able to show that to me? I don't know what good it will do because uh, he's, you know, he, you're a cop. He's a cop. You're going to protect each other. So, he says he knows who I am. He says he's going to mail me a ticket to some address. I don't even know what address he said. He doesn't even know my address he doesn't he didn't even get my license he doesn't even know if i am who i am okay. you know it could be that you registered to the it doesn't matter he didn't identify me he didn't legally identify me with my driver's license okay so, so it could be that he recognized you all right so he doesn't good. know me i've never met the fat ass pig before okay he says he knows me but he doesn't know me i've never met him i don't deal with you guys i don't okay. have any I haven't had a, a conflict with you guys in like two or three years. <laughs> so. All right. Would you like to write a statement, and then we can get. You could write it, and I'll tell you. I, I can't write it for you. You can write it. I can sign it. That's how that works. Well, I'm not gonna write it for you. So well, then have a sergeant come out here then. So we're not gonna write a statement. I don't so care what you say. Have a sergeant come out here. Zip your mouth. Your blonde dyed hair burn your brain. I don't know. Just bring a sergeant out here and we'll move on. You're too stupid to you do your job. What would you like our sergeant to be able to do? I don't care. I'll talk to them. Okay. I'm not going to explain any more to you, D-ball. Okay. Would you like to talk to this officer? No, a sergeant. Sergeant. Okay. All right. I'm happy to meet you, sergeant. He's gonna I'll be waiting. Taxi. I'll be waiting. I don't care what you All think. All right. Well, if there's a sergeant available, I will get one for you. They're, they have to be available. They're on duty. They have to oversee idiots like you. A little longer than a few minutes later. Calling in for the day shift sergeant today. Okay. I understand that you'd, you'd ask to come speak to me. Right, yeah, a big fat slob named Gonzalez. He's a big fat slob. You know what a slob looks like? That's Gonzalez. Whoa there, buddy. You need to take a look in a mirror before you call others a big fat slob. He's like the portrait child for a f slob, okay? You have no concept of irony or introspective, do you? And it is poster child, not portrait child. Get some education, dude. So he approached my car. He drew his pistol partially. That tells me that he wants to shoot me. That tells me he wants to riddle my body with bullets. I know they want to shoot me in the back. I get it. I know there's a whole warning label on me and all this crap, but it's got to stop. So I'm not, I'm not going to get fatally wounded by a cop. Okay. Okay, so did you want to provide a written statement with my understanding? You can write it, I'll sign it. I won't write your statement for you. But then that's, you I'm give, I'm, we're on video, you can do that. That's how that works. I can sign it, you can, he can write it. Anyone can write it, she can write it. Okay, that, that'd be your option with me today is if you want to write a statement. You're I'm not going to write it. You can write it, I'll sign it. Okay, yeah, I'm giving you the opportunity to do it if you don't. I'm not going to write it, okay. I'll sign it. You write it. I'll tell you the story. You write it. Right. I'm more than happy to have you write it in here, but I'm, I'm not going to write it. You're going to write it. I'm going to sign it. Is there I'll date it. Help you, with it. you haven't helped me. 
Okay, well, if you don't want to write your statement, there's nothing more I can do for you. Okay, so you're, you're going to let that fat-ass pig shoot people. No, if this is as serious as you're saying, I would think that you would it's, want to provide I'm, I'm not going to... I don't want to write it because I don't want to sit here and have to hold my phone and try to watch you guys at the same time. So I will... I will I will let you... I can also leave it in here with you and come back in a while if that makes it easier. And then we're going to have like 20 cops watching me on the screen and hiding behind doors and shit. Oh, well, it's a police department. There's cameras all over the place. Why is there a cop hiding behind the door? I haven't seen anyone. Well, there was. Okay. If you want, I can leave this in here for you and I can come back in a few minutes and get it from you if that makes it easier. You know, I don't know if I want to sit here and write it out because okay. nothing's going to happen, right? No... Oh, I'll certainly forward it up to chain to my supervisor. If you want to investigate it, they'll certainly look into it. They're and actually going to investigate name. Is there a ticket? What did he do? The officer with the traffic stop? Yeah, what did he do? It's my understanding that he was mailing you an infraction. He, he doesn't know my address. He can't mail me an infraction. I don't know. Did you have a license plate that has your current address on no, it? No, it doesn't. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do with it. Then That was my understanding. So did he write a ticket? I don't think he's had an opportunity to do it yet. I think he's on his way to another call right now. Can we get him down here so we can get a uh, video statement from him? Well, he, he's on another call right now. Okay. It's my understanding you didn't want to speak with him. Well, we, we'll need him on video to... Okay, well, that, that's how it'll work. If you want to file a complaint, you're more than happy to do, you, do so. I'm certainly more than happy to come back if you want a few minutes to write your statement. Do you want to bring him down here so I can record him? No, I think it's probably best that the two of you don't have any interaction based on what you were saying was, was what happened out there and that you were afraid of him and everything else. I was afraid of him, okay. but we're in a police station, right? right. I mean, now it's different. Yeah, so that'd be the avenue. If you want to give a written statement, I'm more than happy to leave it in here for you and I can come back and get it from you in a few minutes. You know, I, I don't know if I want to do that because uh, it's going to take a long time to write it out. And I don't know if you guys are going to actually investigate it. You can, you can also take the form home with you if you'd like. You can work on it there and bring it back anytime, too. Okay, what was his intention? Was it to riddle my body with bullets? So I wasn't out there on the call with you. All I know is there was a traffic stop and it sounds like there was potentially going to be an infraction that was sent in the mail. That's the only information that I have. So how do you write infractions without having a driver's license? I don't have enough information at this point to know what's going on or to even look at it. Any okay. That. That's the only details. So Gonzalez just runs the streets rampantly. No one oversees no, him. No, no. No? Okay. Did, did, did you want to, me to leave this with you? Or I can even give you some and you can take them with you. Um, you know, it's, you're, you're, you've asked that a lot of times now. If you wanted to leave it, you'd just leave it, right? Yeah, or I can give them to you. Either way is fine. I, I'm not sure where this is going. Because if you wanted to leave them, you'd just leave them, right? I can tear some of these off if you didn't want to go in there. You'd express some concern about going in there because of cameras. Well, it's not the cameras. I got people hiding behind the door. So and I don't want to get riddled with bullets. I get it. Well, I certainly don't have the intention of riddling anyone with bullets. Well, I I, you might not, way. but your your coworker does, you know. Okay. Who, okay. Draws, who draws a gun, you know? So if it makes you feel more comfortable, I can leave those in there for you if you wish to take some with you at home. To Is there a pen in there? Fun. Will I have a pen? Yeah, there's there's several pens. Okay. If you want, I can come back in a little while, or you I'll, can always bring it back. I'll let room. you know when I'm ready. Okay, sounds good. Just have any, there we go. Okay. Yeah, just, I don't know if you want to call or if you want me just to call. I'll call, I'll call. Sounds good. All right, it's just all in there. Make sure the blonde girl gets some better training. She's kind of, I think the blonde dye might have fried her brain. She's kind of stupid. I'm, not, I'm saying Are you she's, talking about the other officer? Yeah, she oh, seems okay. pretty stupid. Yeah. Oh, you're back? I, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I will take your statement. No, I don't, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Other guy. Would you be okay talking with I'm the other officer? I'm just going to close the door. I'm just going to close I can't hear you. If you I don't care. I don't care. Go, go away from me. Go away from me. I don't like you. You're a lesbian. You are. Look at you. You're a lesbian. You're a fucking lesbian. Wouldn't put my dick in you. Oh, she's so absolutely devastated that this pig named Serio doesn't want to give her any. Yeah, is the sergeant here? Uh, the sergeant left. Uh, is there someone else? I, I don't really want to deal with rookies. I mean, I got nothing against you. You don't know have done nothing to me, but she's stupid. 
Okay, um, what's the, the gal with the blonde hair? Yeah, I don't want to deal with her. Right now, she's, she's the supervisor right now. Oh, God. She's the supervisor? Yes, sir. What does that button on the side of the wall do? Uh, apparently, it's uh, some sort of alarm that you just triggered. What, which one's an alarm? The, the one that you hit over there. That's an alarm? Apparently. Why isn't there no sign? There should be a sign, right? Yeah. Let people know it's an alarm, right? Yeah, that would make sense. Right. Um, do you have a phone number or anything in case anybody wants to follow up with you? Well, you sh I, I think that you should probably ask a superior if that's good. I don't, because I don't want to, like, have to come back here and say it's no good or whatever, you know. Okay, no. Supervisor said, uh, just the only thing you got to do is just check the duck box and the initial just saying that you're giving us an accurate statement. So, so the blonde bull dyke. Let's be accurate here. The blonde bull dyke. The blonde. The lesbian. I don't know any officers that are lesbian. But she looks lesbian. lesbian. Okay. Well, the blonde officer, the uh, supervisor right now, just. The lesbian. If you want to just. How are you a supervisor without being a sergeant? I, I don't get that. If you want to just check the uh, top box here, initial. And then sign on every form. So what happens if I don't do that? You don't have to. Okay. I'm not going to force you to or anything. So it's right. still good. It's still going to go in. Yeah, it's still good. Okay. So we're good then. Okay. We're good. All right. Well, thanks for taking the time to fill that out. Hopefully your day gets a little bit better from here. Um, so here's the deal. He says he wrote me a citation. He says he, he sent it to some 8050. I don't know that address. I don't know where he sent it. I need the copy of the citation. If you can't provide that, then that's void. You can't, you can't, there's nothing like, I'll beat them in court. So I'll just, you know, so either, so like either they can give it to me right here in this spot or they can mail it to some address. I have no idea what, where that address is. And then I can file a lawsuit on that too, because you're, you're looking up old information. He didn't get my license. He doesn't have my current, I don't have my drive, my, it's in my car, but he, it doesn't say what he says. I don't know if he's had a chance to complete it. Like we've well, he, he, said, there's been either he, he doesn't complete it or he does. So I need to know right now. Well, I don't have an answer for you. Right well, you're going to have to call in and get one. Um, hopefully you have a better answer. So you're in um, Keo, Washington. Yeah, I'm in Muckatillo, Washington. Hi, this is Dr. Ball and Uncle Teal. Please hey, report. don't listen to her. I'm trying to get the citation. Um, they sent it to the wrong address. Um, Basically, uh, he said something about 8050 Muckatillo Speedway. I don't know where that's at. Uh, my driver's license says a totally different address in Seattle. So I need oh. I need the copy of the citation. Sir, so here's the thing. The I need to shut up. I'm not talking to you. Uh, hey, shut I, up. I, I, am uh, I don't care if you're a lesbian. I don't sir, care if you're a lesbian. Sir. I don't Calm care down. if you're a lesbian. Calm down. Are they there helping you? No, Calm she's down. harassing me. I'm trying to explain. She's harassing me. She won't get away from me. I don't want to talk to Is a lesbian. An of the I don't know what it. Woman? I think it's a sure. lesbian. It looks like a man. I swear to God, it looks like a man. All right, sir. I it's got to... no breast. It's got no breast. You have no tits. You can't Is be that a woman. An employee of the place.
Gillian, you dumb pig. She's clearly wearing a bulletproof vest, which has more function than fashion. It is meant to protect your body, not to bring out the features of that person. I don't know what it is. It's got no breast. It's got no hey, no breast on his tits. It's getting Listen it's getting me. loud. To to it's got you. white fingernail polish. I don't know if it's a male, a woman, it's a transvestite. Sir. I don't know. Sir. I'm not sure if I'm it is. Sure. It's gonna... asking me to identify. Sir. We need you to walk they want me to identify. I can't identify. No, no I cannot walk. identify what it is. Can you identify it? Can you? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? All right, sir. What do you want? Okay, I'm asking you to leave the police department. Why'd you? I'm not leaving because I'm on the phone with dispatch. Your statement form. Okay. No, no, I told you. I, I don't know 8050 whatever okay, address. So the citation is going to be, or the infraction is going to be sent to you. Sent okay. where? Sent where? I don't know what address he sent it to. Okay. Get away so from me. Get away from me. Hello? Sir? You're no longer welcome here. Hello, you can't kick me out of here. You've already, we've already addressed your police concerns. No, you haven't. Get out of here. Leave me here. alone. Hit our panic button. Leave me alone. I don't know what so you've you done. Know, you There's no button, sign on that. There's, you'll be arrested. Try it. Give it your best shot. Give it your best shot, lesbian. You'd like to do it. You'd like to do it. I don't think you both could. All right. All I'm right, asking, what? Asking, Get your sergeant here now. Sir, I am the supervisor. Get your sergeant here now, lesbian. You lesbian, I don't care. All right. What you are? Why is your sleeve all dirty? What'd you do? What's on your sleeve? You're, you're so, oh my God. Hello? Oh my God. Hello? Six one ocean two. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Are you there? I'm out here with him. Hello. He's trying to stay on the line with dispatch. Hello. What'd you do? You made her get off the phone call. What did you do? You lesbian. You talked over my call, you idiot. Okay. Here? I'm here. Hello. Yeah, um, I'm trying to uh, get the citation. They, they sent it to the wrong address or something, and they won't give me a copy of it. I'm being harassed by some blonde lesbian or a transvestite. Okay, so you're in the office of the police department? No, I'm in, the, I'm in like this fucking uh, little cubbyhole shit. What's that? I can't hear you. I need the lieutenant or the sergeant. No, I'm not talking about lesbians and transvestites. I'm talking about sergeants and lieutenants. I'm not talking to her or whatever it is. It's a transvestite. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of species. I don't know. I've never encountered it before. Dispatch says there's a sergeant coming. Is that true? I have no idea. I'm not working in the back. What are you doing then? I'm working in the front. I'm speaking with you. Okay. Doesn't look too hard. Okay. Oh my God. Keep me here all day. This door open? What's on the other side of it? A door? The other door won't open.
Hurry up with the sergeant. I ain't got all day. Are these uh, gun gun safes on the door? Do I know the password? No? Can I try? You need a key. I don't have a key. There's probably no gun inside. Fifteen minutes later. He left? Hold on, I'm going pee. I'm urinating, hold on. Oh my goodness, you disgusting pig. You need to learn how to wash your hands. And I'm certainly not gonna go hand over hand teaching it to you either. Ugh. I left some evidence behind in here. I don't know if there's some evidence in, inside here. Did you want to take Can you step out of there, please, for us? For what? Just step out of the bathroom. For what? Glenn, you're under arrest. Okay? For what? You're under arrest for failure to comply. I didn't comply. Okay? I'm, failure to comply. I'm not doing nothing. And our city code no. for So you're criminal threatening me again. So you're okay? threatening me again. No, so you're under arrest, okay? For what? Turn around, put your hands on. Let me call back. my lawyer. Turn around, put your hands on. I will. Let me call my lawyer. And here is the body cam footage from the police perspective. Enjoy. Hey, Glenn. Yeah. I'm in the bathroom. Okay. It's Officer Ogerhide, you were talking to me before. Are you a sergeant? I am not a sergeant. Do you see your sergeant here or what? The sergeant left for the day. What? The sergeant is left, it's now the supervisor. I left some evidence behind in here. I don't know. There's some evidence in, inside here. Did you want to? Would you step out of there, please, for us? For what? Just step out of the bathroom. For what? Glenn, you're under arrest. For what? You're under arrest for failure to comply. I didn't comply. I'm, okay, failure to comply. I'm not doing nothing. And our city code no. for. So you're threatening me again. So you're threatening me again. No, so you're under arrest, okay? For what? Turn around, put your hands Let me call my lawyer. Turn around, put your hands I will. Let me call my lawyer. We need, we need to take the phone. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and play games with you, okay? So I'm using the bathroom and you. What are you doing with my phone? Work. What? I'm gonna worry about it. You ain't got no camera here. Oh, okay. But you don't. I hope you guys enjoyed this trip down in memory lane as much as I did. I wonder if he'll ever start posting videos again. I miss his stupidity.